Hey, Bass this be up for 64K and I'm heading out to the Vancouver Comic and Toy Show, February 2019. Welcome to 64K, hosted by Bass Tish B. And welcome back. So this is the first event coverage for this year for my channel. And this Vancouver Comic and Toy Show, it happens a few times each year. If you've never been to one, it's basically a celebration of all things pop culture, video games, comic books, TV shows, movies, all that kind of good stuff. So this is the first time it's been held in a new location, the PE Forum. This is in Vancouver, British Columbia, so it promises to be bigger and better than all the previous shows, so this is going to be pretty exciting. Okay, so I'm almost here, I just got to find some parking and then we're going to head on in. real mac and cheese. I'll be back for you later. As you can see the line went all the way around the block. It got pretty busy in there. Bit of an overview of the whole hall. It's pretty big. Guile from Street Fighter. Bunch of real retro toys here. Got Battle Cat from Masters of the Universe. This guy had an excellent selection of classic Dune toys from the original David Lynch movie. He has a funky Baron Harkonnen. The Duke will die before these eyes and he'll know. He'll know! The guy's a bit of a nutcase. The Arrow, awesome figure. Spider-Man number 300 goes for 1,200. I will take James Stokoe's Dead Orbit for $2. Thank you very much. Picked up this game, I don't know what it is. I love finding weird Famicom games. There's a whole bunch of cards, collectible cards from the 80s and 70s. Ooh, Dallas. Oh, there, JR. Which slut are you going to stay with tonight? What difference does it make? Whoever it is, it got to be more interesting than the slut I'm looking at right now. That guy's a real piece of work. <laughs> Guy had a massive collection of obscure DVDs, Blu-rays, and VHSs. Good old horror flicks. Hard to find stuff. Ooh, what's this down here? A Genesis! Tim Tim, one of my favorites. Got some Barry Allen going on here. Oh, some great American werewolf in London. Look at all this VHS goodness. Picked up another game, Elevator Action, Famicom. Pennywise cereal. Ugh. That's in bad taste. Cthulhu. Rancor. Piggy's about to get munched. A whole bunch of NES games from the Red Eye Games guys. Excellent selection and even better prices, as always. I love these old style G.I. Joes. Very cool. Highlander the board game, how did I not know that existed? Oh, Hail Hydra, I'm totally getting that. There's a selection of vinyl I found here, some pretty good titles. I've managed to find all these in thrift stores though, for like about two bucks each, so I had to skip that. This guy always has excellent old retro stuff. Now Shuttlecraft from Star Trek. Mystery boxes, ah, oh, I love these things. I'm very curious what this Macho Man one had. Twiggy! And we have the best worst James Bond movie ever made. Where's Drax? Oh, he had to fly. Yep, that's the humor you're looking at. Tons and tons of comic books at this show. 
And if you like Transformers, they had more Transformer tables than anything else I've ever seen. Found some Thundercats in the corner here. I loved that show as a kid. More comic books. This issue of Spider-Man and the Punisher. I've actually got this one. And I found Rambo 3 on the Sega Master System and I picked it up. Looking through some vinyl here. Came across some fine young cannibals, the raw and the cooked. What an excellent album. I love it. Got a bunch of collectible cars here, and I found Christine from the John Carpenter classic. Show me. And more dodgy VHS. Snake Eater 2, The Drug Buster. That is the worst cover I've ever seen. I should have got it. And I came back to this mac and cheese dude and I decided to take on the Kevin Bacon. Taking a break for a few seconds here. Gotta get stuck into that. And some liquid death always helps out. I picked up a bunch of Japanese PS2 games for one buck each. Eternal Ring from Software. Primal Image by Atlas, a bunch of weird titles, and yep, that was pretty good. Michael Myers, really cool figure. Vampirella, she's everywhere at this place. <laughs> and for a change of pace, why not pick up a Wesley Crusher for five bucks? Sir, I know this may finish me as an acting ensign, but shut up, Wesley! And Dukes of has what? I never knew they made this. How bizarre. And this is a match that I would love to have gone to. And we got some Star Trek figures here and I found Q, my favorite character. My good fortune is your good fortune. I don't need your fantasy women. Oh, you're so stolid. You weren't like that before the beard. He's basically Star Trek's Loki. Got a bunch of cool one shots here. Got Katana from Mortal Kombat. This is a big toy graveyard. <laughs> Dig through it and find what you want. This was a Blu-ray feeding frenzy. This guy opened up all these things and people are just taking them like crazy. Got the soundtrack for Demons, the Argento, Bava, Combo. Ooh, Streets of Rage 3. Love that game. I found Psyduck, poor guy, and Jabanyan, I love this dude, Jibanyan! and I picked up the Jabanyan figure for my daughter, Skeletor, that's creepy, and while you're eating that you can play some Jumanji, managed to find this classic, I love this movie. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. And I managed to find Mule. I've been looking for this for a while. It's a conversion of the classic Commodore 64 game to the NES. Great game if you've never played it. Bob. A few moments later. And that's it. Whew. Managed to survive that craziness. That pretty much wraps it up for today. There's going to be a lot more event coverage throughout this year, so stay tuned. Okay, thanks for joining me, Dasish B, for this event coverage. I hope you enjoyed it. If you can share this video, please go ahead. If you could like and subscribe as well, that'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you for the next event. Cheers.